And right here in Baltimore, a third measles case has been confirmed in the state. And according to the CDC, that's officially an outbreak. Yet the new case is raising concern that the virus could spread even more. Tonight, health officials are warning that people may have been exposed at two Pikesville grocery stores and a medical center this past Sunday. WJZ is live. Kelsey Kushner speaks with people in the community about the outbreak. Kelsey? Well, Mary, the announcement comes the same day there was a measles vaccine clinic held in the area. Health officials say it's concerning having three measles cases confirmed in such a short amount of time. A third case of measles confirmed in Maryland, and with the number of patients growing, so are the places of possible exposure. The Maryland Health Department says anyone who visited a medical center at 4000 Old Court Road and two grocery stores, Seven Mile Market and Market Maven off Ricerstown Road on April 14th, might be at risk of exposure. Everybody is really concerned. It's the talk of the community, and we're all trying to do our best, making sure that everyone is vaccinated. State officials posted signs on the front doors of the grocery stores to warn shoppers like Joe Weiss, who are stocking up before Passover. I was not happy about it. So I probably, if I had seen the sign before I walked in the door, I probably wouldn't have walked in. The announcement comes just after this measles clinic closed up on Wednesday. The Maryland Department of Health sent 1,200 free doses of vaccines to this Jewish girls' school in Baltimore to distribute to the public. A push from health officials to stop the highly contagious disease from spreading. You can walk into a room after someone who's been infected has left the room and still get the disease. Common symptoms include high fever, a cough, and a red rash. In the first two confirmed cases, health officials say the patients are in some way connected to the same household and they picked up the illness outside of Maryland in an area with an ongoing outbreak. I have a baby at home so we're very concerned and we even got my three-year-old um, a booster early so that we're all hopefully protected. Now, no word yet on yet if that third case is connected, uh, but doctors say that if you think you may have been exposed and you're not vaccinated, call your doctor. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kushner for WJC.